Hi there, this is David Nguyen, CEO of Brain Scanology, and I'm excited to announce the launch of our new product known as CDT Open. CDT stands for Clock Draw Test. CDT Open is a free objective clock draw test to track cognitive function. The clock draw test has been used to assess cognitive dysfunction due to dementia and traumatic brain injury. It's been around for many decades, and here are examples of what a healthy clock looks like as opposed to a clock from a patient suffering from dementia or Parkinson's. And this test can be done simply by asking the patient to draw a clock showing 10 minutes past 11 on a piece of paper. A problem with using the clock draw test is how to objectively compare clock shapes that are different sizes, let alone having nuanced shapes. This subjectivity in scoring the clock draw test has been a major hindrance in its widespread use and its uh, use in conjunction with machine learning and AI. But this is the very problem that Brain Scanology has set out to solve. Our solution is that Shape Genie, which is our shape analysis software, is able to measure shape apart from size, and we call this pure shape. For example, the clock A1 is smaller than the clock B1, but we can resize them to be the same width. And in this way, we can measure their shapes apart from their size. And this has been impossible if you measure things like area, perimeter, volume, etc. But with Shape Genie, it's very possible. And what this has done is that it's allowed us to measure clock shapes in a way that's objective, quantitative, meaning you can now do machine learning and AI on it, and it's easily deployable and it's easily trackable. And the combination of three and four means that we can create a system that sends automated alerts when a person uh, you know, draws a clock monthly and we can track that the scores are changing in the abnormal direction. We can then send automated alerts so the patient knows to follow up with their healthcare provider. Before I move on, I want to say that uh, the clock draw test cannot and does not diagnose dementia. The reason is because many health conditions unrelated to dementia can affect a person's ability to draw a clock normally. Therefore, any results from a clock draw test should be discussed with a licensed professional before jumping to any conclusions. To begin, let's talk about a hypothetical case of worsening dementia. So here is a series of clocks drawn once a month, starting in June, July, all the way to October. And in June and July, the clocks are normal, but in August, we begin to see changes and these changes worsen in September and eventually in October, the patient is drawing very odd clocks. Now, in reality, the time scale to get from the left to the right might be many months, but for convenience, I've labeled them as six months. So when we compare the shape of the edges, the first two shape indices that we have identified clearly shows that the clock shape is very different than the green line, which is the average of uh, this shape factor in the normal cases, June and July. Index number two detects a change also in September. If you look at the two other indices that we've identified for the clock edge shape, we see that index three and four both detect changes beginning in August, where the changes are slight, but these indices show uh, that they continue to progress in the abnormal direction. For index four, the abnormal direction is a smaller number. And we see that change beginning in August. And again, the green lines show the average of what the normal clocks in June and July would be. So we are developing a system that tracks people's monthly score reports. And if there are persistent changes in the abnormal direction for three months in a row, then our system will send an automated alert in the form of text messages and emails to the patient, to his or her caregivers, and to his or her healthcare provider, telling them that they should be following up. Next, let's talk about cognitively normal clocks. Here is a series of uh, clocks from a normal patient, but with just one fluctuation in the month of August, where the shape of the clock is abnormal relative to how the person has drawn clocks previously and afterwards. And I purposely included this series to highlight the point that just because somebody draws 
an odd clock once does not mean they have dementia. Because in dementia, the oddness of the clock continues to get worse over time and does not uh, revert back to normal clocks. So when comparing the shape of uh, this series, we see that index one detects an increased signal in the month of August, but then this index reverts back to normal in September and October. If we look at the other three indices, we see that the problematic month, that is August, does not show any particular uh, signs of being drastically different from uh, the previous months and the months afterwards. Same for index three and same for index four. Now, for those of who have noticed that if you look at index three and index four, July seems to be an odd one out, right? In index three and in index four, even though July is supposed to be a normal case of the clock. And I'd like to point out that actually these are good signs because for index three, a smaller number means you're moving towards the normal range of clock shapes. While in index four, a larger number means you're moving towards the normal range of clock shapes. So this dip and this rise in July is actually a good thing. And I will show you what the ranges are uh, later on in this presentation. So CDT Open is a free monthly report that anybody can do. You just create an account on shapegenie.net and you upload your clock image once a month and you will receive a score report that looks like this, three pages. Page two contains the image of your clock with the uh, edges, numbers, and hands separated. And page three will give you the clock edge scores. And here it gives you the ranges, how to interpret your scores, whether or not they're in the normal range or the abnormal range. And there are a set of questions here to assess the numbers and the clock hands. Zooming into the indices, so these are the four that we identified, and these are the ranges that we have identified to be normal and abnormal. And we identified this by analyzing hundreds of normal clocks and hundreds of abnormal clocks. And we are continually revising these ranges by adding more clocks in each category so that these ranges will become more and more precise over time. The questionnaire that assesses the state of the numbers and the clock hands, at this point, We've made it to be subjective using a score of a zero for yes and one for no. Uh, eventually, we'll turn this into an automated quantitative system, but that's for a future version of CDT open. But nonetheless, even this uh, semi-quantitative zero and one scoring system can be graphed over time to find patterns. Lastly, I'd like to talk about CDT plus. So this is our subscription-based automated system for medical offices and families. And what it does is that it tracks each patient's score over time. And if there are persistent changes towards the abnormal shapes over a three month period, that will trigger uh, a series of texts and email alerts to the patient, the caregiver, and the doctor. Lastly, people who use CDT Open can eventually assign their score reports to their doctor's CDT Plus account. Therefore, even though a medical office may sign up for a CDT Plus account 12 or 24 months after their patients have started using CDT Open, their patients can still assign the, all the historic scores to the CDT Plus account so that the doctor's office already has historic data that uh, they can start analyzing tracking uh, the moment they open the CDT Plus account. Lastly, I'd like to acknowledge the core team that has been developing CDT Open. We've been working very hard uh, and, uh, to make progress and we're happy to be at this stage where we have the alpha product that we can now uh, test out and eventually we'll have the beta product that will be fully automated and much faster. Uh, I'd like to thank Wajahat Parvez and Ali Ahmad. They're our research engineers uh, building all the computer vision and software integration steps. And Ananya uh, is a high school intern and her project was on the clock draw test and allowed me to begin this entire project on applying Shape Genie to clock shapes. We can be reached at info at brainscanology.com. Thank you for your attention.